I mean, I think back how my work began and how I sort of evolved in the present stage of activity, and we'd have to say it's basically print and paper. Imagery I used was a mix of illusion and technology. I think when you look at any kind of three-dimensional piece, you have a sense of kinetic quality by simply moving in front of it. You are moving the point of view into the piece. And the light plays a very interesting part. If you have the light on the right, or on the left, or on top and bottom, it gives a complete different sensation of the piece. And the forms I use, like the triangle and the circular shape, semicircular shape and the protractor, they are part of my sculptural language, which I do rather large, you know, like six, eight, 10 feet tall, and done in steel. Having done those for a number of years, I brought them back to the print idea and made this sort of print sculptures in a way. Out of the involvement with paper, I naturally got very interested in books. I started doing books on two levels. One as a book object where I take books itself and I censor them. I paint them white and they become icons that are silenced and sealed. And I use nails and rope and screws and completely make sure that there's no identity left in these items. So what I'm doing, I'm taking this cultural icon book and reissuing them in a kind of a lighthearted, ironic way by getting rid of their content it becomes kind of a symbol for an end of something and maybe the beginning of something new. So it's a raw material for me. It's like stone or like a piece of wood that you sculpt, that you do something. I just take books and it's paper and it's pliable. You can saw it, you can drill it, you can do a lot of things with it. The first thing I do is I usually get rid of its content, of its identity, so it's sterile. And that's part of it, you know. And the big piece in that series is called Gallows. It has about seven columns of books hanging. It's like, a, like bodies that have been executed. And that's sort of the a statement about the censorship. Other pieces in that series are a piece called Delicate Balance, which is a series of books balanced on a shovel. So it's just the edge of the shovel that gives it the stability. Another piece in that series is called uh, Limited Access, which uses screws and wooden latches that makes it impossible to open the books. The book is not only under duress from sensors, but also from a technology. You know, we're we going into a different direction with the book. And that sort of made it kind of a double image, kind of a double purpose for this book. So I take books that have done their purpose and they become really just little sculptures. I make it into an nonsensical, kind of lighthearted, ironic thing that points into a different direction. I think that's where the, the book kind of struggles with at this point. As a kind of a, an echo of, of my sort of destroying books, I'm also building books. And these are the artist books where I begin from scratch and I simply think of ideas. How could a book survive in this environment? The majority of the younger generation, they read mostly from the screen and the book becomes kind of an odd thing for them. So I'm building books that have possibility to point into a different direction. And uh, they are primarily done in limited editions and I do them with the concept that everybody who reads them uses the book not only visually, but you touch it, you, you work with it, you assemble it, you take it down. When you put a piece from a sketch into reality, you look for the format, you look for the expression that is the most strongest. I think that's the nice thing in the arts when you have multiple technologies and techniques available. You can really uh, look for the best possible expression uh, that serves the idea and the piece to the utmost.